Hi everyone, my name is Joseph and today I wanted to do a different kind of video. So I don't like to talk about personal um, material on this channel just because I personally don't like it when other individuals talk about personal matters. But I think this is a different kind of case because even though it is personal, it's not me directly. Uh, but I just want to make this video uh, for those individuals who may have pets such as dogs, cats, rabbits, birds, hamsters, and so forth. Um, just as a quick reminder to uh, appreciate them uh, once who has the chance. I'm sure most of us who are pet owners, we do appreciate them as much as we can. But that saying that one doesn't really know how much they love something or how much they miss something until it's gone. It very much is true. So recently I did lose my dog, unfortunately, on, on Christmas Day at 1220. Her name was Midnight and she was 13 years old. I was happy and blessed to have had her for so long. And thankfully also blessed enough that she was for the most part quite healthy. Um, the only health issues that she had was pertaining to her age. So essentially just natural causes. Uh, she did have arthritis and some joint issues, but thankfully she never suffered from things such as tumors, uh, cancer. Uh, there was a possible thyroid issue, but it's looking like that may not have been the case at all. So she quite literally just passed away due to uh, uh, old age essentially. I am grateful for that because she was very much a healthy and fit dog. She loved her walks. Whenever she didn't go on her walks, she was depressed. She would get depressed. I'm happy to say that she was smart enough to let myself know when she was no longer able to go on walks as well. Uh, I have a harness for her. When I would put the harness over her, she actually bowed her head and didn't let me put the harness on her. And I, of course, uh, took that as a sign that she did not want to go on her walk. Um, so that started um, about three to four days before Christmas Day itself. Um, and when that started, I did start hanging out with her outside instead, just um, just to be with her since we couldn't do our walk. I decided to just be present with her. I am glad that I did that. Um, I don't want to go into detail. I'm, again, I'm just this video is not is not really about me talking about my dog, but more about me talking about pets in general. As one could see, I do have other pets. I do have two other cats. I had another cat who unfortunately passed away. In fact, if one watches my uh, original videos from like two years ago, I did try to make some videos way back when. There's a couple of them. One of them does have a thumbnail with my cat's, uh, th this cat's sister, her name was Jazz. And um, so there's another one or two more videos where she does make appearance as well. Unfortunately, when I started doing this more regularly, um, that was after Jazz's passing. Uh, so the one who's been present in the videos has been Ocho, uh, Jazz's sister. Um, I do have a couple rabbits as well. Uh, their names are Beignet and uh, uh, Oreo. And um, they're, out, they're outdoor rabbits and uh, Midnight would keep them company and she would um, protect them. Anywho, but uh, I do have other pets and ever since Midnight's passing, in fact, since Jazz is passing, um, so Jazz and Midnight, uh, I have had other animals pass away, but they were the first ones that I had since they were ki uh, kitten slash puppy up into uh, senior age. And um, <clears throat> it was interesting to speak of the jazz. It was quite saddening. Um, excuse me, that was a hiccup. And I felt her passing within the house itself just because she was an indoor cat. But with Midnight, my dog, um, it's a different kind of herd. The herd is too present. Even if she was an outdoor dog, I would still see her practically every day because I would walk her almost every day. Or uh, if I went to work, I would see her at the gate. When I went to the market, I would see her at the gate. When I went out, I would see her at the gate. When I came back home, she was typically back at the gate, right? Whenever I went to exotic places, I always make sure to take midnight with me. I always feel guilty when she wasn't with me. I went to places where I knew she would love to walk around or hike around, right? So um, just with the fact that I went on trips and took midnight outside of the household, I feel like I'm thinking about her more often, like I'm driving and I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, oh, I have a car, a one of those dog car mat uh, sheets to protect the back seat. And um, when I come back home, uh, muscle memory has me looking at the gate and midnight's not present, right? So although they, they, they have passed, they still live on with, through their memories and through us thinking about them still. And since midnight has passed in jazz, uh, midnight's jazz's passing made me embrace my pets a bit more. And Midnight's passing is making me appreciate some of the elements about them as well. Like, for example, my other cat, uh, Torito, he doesn't really appear in the videos, but he's a black cat with uh, like a, a black tuxedo cat. So his paws are white. Uh, I never really noticed before how cute his paws look just because they look like he's burying, uh, not gloves, but like, or, or mittens or whatever. But I, I don't know, it's hard to describe, but one is a pet owner, they probably know what I'm talking about. So I'm making this video both as a dedication to my dog, 
to talk about pets in general. And I know I said this wasn't really to talk about my dog, but I guess at the end it was, and I don't mind that whatsoever. Uh, I don't like to be personal, so if I was a little bit awkward, that's why I'm not used to talking about personal things with uh, uh, only with close friends and only with some family members. And so me doing this with the video format, I'm just doing it more as a way for me to um, a, cathars a cathartic event for myself, just because again, I have been thinking about midnight and um, it is a, a harsh kind of pain and I do wish I had made a video for Jazz's passing as well. Um, but this video is again to remind myself and everyone else as well to hug their loved ones, not just their pets, but literally their loved ones, right? So the pets and the family members, their parents, uh, siblings, if they have one, uh, significant others, if they have one, friends, if hopefully one has them <laughs> and so forth, right? Uh, just to remember to appreciate things before they're gone or before or worse yet, they're, they're, uh, they're not just gone, but gone in such a way where you can't interact with them anymore. And not just through death, also through like moving and stuff like that, right? But hopefully one knows what I mean. Um, this video again, I wanna to dedicate to uh, Midnight. Uh, I won't say the kind of nicknames that I had for her just because I might use them as passwords and stuff like that. So I don't wanna to be too personal as I already said. Um, but this would be the first video that I'm going to post for the new year. And um, I want this to be a happy, positive video because I know for a fact that my dog Midnight wouldn't want me to be sad. I know that sounds a bit cheesy, but as people who are pet owners, well, especially my dog, she very much did reflect my emotions. If I was sad, she would also act sad too. But if I was happy, she would also reflect that happiness too. So I know if I were just acting depressed and moody, <clears throat> my dog wouldn't very much enjoy that. Midnight wouldn't very much enjoy that. So since her passing, I've been making sure to still keep on walking. I never realized how much the walks were for her. I don't like to walk, or rather I don't like to exercise in general, but of course it's good for one's health. So I forced myself to do it. And when it came to the walks, I never really, I never really realized how much I did force myself to, to do it. Because again, if I didn't do it, my dog would become very depressed. She'll put her head down and she would, if one owns dog, they know what I'm talking about. If one owns dogs, they know what I'm talking about. She'll look at you with the little eyes and then the white of her eyes will show. <laughs> so I never like to see that. So that's why I always made sure to walk her. And since her passing, I'm making sure to do so as well out of memory for her. Um, because if she was still around, I know it's a thing, an action that I would still be doing. And even though she is gone, um, I think it will be as dramatic as it sounds. Um, a little bit disrespectful for me to stop um, just because it's... It, um, it's good for me, right? It's good for me to remain active and to continue walking. And just because an element that may be different is is, is removed, that doesn't necessarily mean that you stop doing it, right? Uh, so even though it was for midnight, uh, it's also for me indirectly too. Now, because of midnight, I'm gonna keep on walking. And so through that memory, she's still going to be with me, right? Still assisting me. Hopefully that makes sense. If it does not. <laughs> Please do let me know. But again, I think if one owns pets, they, they know what I'm referring to. And then lastly, just because I am a big Digimon fan, uh, I am going to talk about Digimon really quickly in relation to pets. And something that I really appreciate about Digimon is I feel like they do such a great job of, um, of, of just symbolically reflecting the relationship that one has with their pets. And um, for example, like with my dog Midnight, she had Guillaume's curiosity. She had... The bravery and protectiveness factor that Gabumon had. In case one needs a reminder, I love how Gabumon and Adventure Tri told Yamato that he's always going to be there for him. I think even Tazam will be there for his kids too. And my dog was very really much about the community. She was a great guard dog. And then, of course, she could be stubborn, a little bit bratty, like Logomon from Digimon Seekers, uh, but bratty and stubborn in a, in a cute, uh, lovable kind of way. Um, so, yeah, so it's just so right now I'm currently watching Digimon Ghost Game. And I'm not gonna lie, even before Midnight started her health, uh, she started showing her, her, her senior status. Um, a lot of the cast really did remind me of Midnight. Uh, Midnight has a, a habit of, of, of doing gentle bites whenever she comes across dogs she doesn't like. It's not often, but she does, just, she does gentle bites. And that reminded me of how Gamamon will be biting on the computer, gnawing on things. Thankfully, she never really chewed on things, but she does chew on her toys and she just demolishes them. Also, the same way that Gaumon, he would go, uh, uh, you give me bad vibes. My dog was always great about humans, uh, people in general. She knew who were good individuals and who were unsavory individuals. I grew up in a low-income neighborhood. Um, so quite literally, she would recognize the cholos or the gangsters. It's Spanish for saying gangsters. And when I would walk her, uh, or not even walk her, sometimes at the house, um, 
she would growl and they're just walking by and I love that about her and she would never do that to people who, who were to non-cholos non-gangsters she wouldn't do things like that um, so I love that right it's midnight going like oh you give me bad vibes <laughs> you make me want to go kaboom <laughs> I'm sorry. That's just from Digimon Ghost Game. Everyone watches it. They, they know what I'm referring to. Um, but yeah, so Ghost Game just really reminded me of, of Midnight. Now that Midnight has passed away, uh, I, I really... And Goromon, the, the wisdom of Goromon. Midnight, when she actually listened, she, she could be wise when she wanted to or clever. There was an instance where one of my rabbits went under the patio. I had to go get him. And my, I needed assistance. And my dog all by herself, she noticed I was trying to get uh, uh, the rabbit. She just... Went into like uh, D dog mode when we were really solid and started crawling under the patio. It didn't hurt the rabbit or anything like that. Just encouraged the rabbit to come on out. Um, so that was really cool. So yeah, I just really appreciate. Uh, and then Jellymon, the way that she again bratty. No, midnight would be like that sometimes too. Maybe not as bratty as Jellymon, but I have one cool story. The way that Jellymon laughs sometimes. I can't pronounce his name, but Kush, Coach. Ko I know it's not Koshiro because that's from the adventure, but. Um, the individual who who's a uh, very intelligent, the the the, the senpai, the dim, the dorm master. I was going to say the dim master, the dorm master, or the dorm leader, whatever they're called. Uh, I love how she teases him. Um, uh, midnight was quite mischievous like that. To this one time, she caught me uh, scolding one of my cats, Dorito, because I forgot what he did specifically. But I was like, no, what did you do? I wasn't yelling at him; I was just scolding him. And my dog, at the same time, she came up to the patio. And she started wagging her tail because I was scolding uh, uh, Torito. So, <laughs> you know, it's little things like that. Anywho, but um, that's the, I, I think as a Digimon fan, one of the big, best things that why I love Digimon so much is how they do such a great job of capturing that relationship between the human and their digital partners, between the human and one's pet in the real world, right? Um, so, yeah, so if anyone has any pets, uh, if you want to share what kind of pets you have, I would love to hear about them. Again, I have Ocho over here, Torito, two cats. Uh, two rabbits, um, Beignet and Oreo, and then um, I used to have a dog, Midnight, and my other cat, Jazz, who passed away in 2020, uh, 2020, I believe, or 2021, I need to double check, but I believe it's been three years, so I believe it was 2020, um, and now with Midnight's passing on December 25th, 2023, at 1220, uh, and lastly, I'll just end this by saying that I really loved my dog because um, I did suffer with, through some, um, you know, things that everyone suffers when they're younger, um, that most people I think suffer through, um, such as anxiety, depression, and stuff like that. But my dog came to me at a point where I was really going through a, uh, a, a, uh, a down state. Uh, I, I would jokingly call her my, my Thanksgiving miracle because she quite literally came to us, came to me and my family during the week of Black Friday uh, leading up to Thanksgiving. Uh, someone just dumped her in our yard. Right? I don't appreciate that, whoever that family was. They obviously saw that we had pets, and I like to think that's why they put Midnight in our yard, but and thankfully we took care of her. So I don't appreciate the family doing that, but I am grateful that, Mid they, that, that Midnight came to our residence, well, my family's residence, because uh, she, uh, I loved her so much, and I was blessed to have been with her, and I'm blessed to have had her to be so healthy, so active, and honestly just one of the best dogs um, Ever, because I'm sure if one has a dog, you probably consider me the best dog. All our dogs are the best dogs, right? Um, so one of the best dogs with your dog as well, if you have one or your cat, whoever you call your best quote-unquote pet, um, she was up there with them too, right? So And um, and although she passed away on, on Christmas, um, it, it did hurt a lot, but I'm also, it was also a quote-unquote a relief because, uh, again, she did stop doing her walks about three to four days before Christmas Day, and that was something that she really loved, and she also stopped being as active as she used to be. So she was starting to really show her age, and so I'm glad that, I'm relieved because she's no longer suffering. She wasn't suffering, I don't want to imply that she was suffering when she went, um, but she was uncomfortable, right? Even if she wasn't suffering, it was just old age. Uh, aging, it, 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 uh, it's not a, um, it's uncomfortable, right? Hopefully what, it makes sense when I say that. So that's what I mean when I say relief. I'm happy that she's no longer going to continue deteriorating and going to the point of possibly suffering. Uh, she didn't really whimper or anything like that, which I'm grateful for. Um, so that's what I mean when I say relief. Um, but I'm happy to have had her for so long, 13 years uh, from Thanksgiving all the way up to Christmas uh, Day. So um, I do thank her for that. I think I'm grateful for that as well. So thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you guys have your own pets, please feel free to share your stories about them, your favorite stories. And um, yeah, 
have a happy new year everyone uh, i'm making this video um on new year's eve so by the time this gets posted it'll be the new year 2024 and even though midnight won't be with me for 2024 her presence and her memory will definitely still be with me and i'll be continuing to uphold her, not just her but also jazz and sabrina alloy um maddie kins also all the animals and pets that uh graced my life as i grew up and uh, and more that i didn't name i don't want to take too long naming them but they know that they're still in my heart and everything like that thank you so much for listening and watching i do appreciate it have a great day everyone have a pro digits day and take care since i talked about digimon <laughs>